Charles Street Podcast, man. I got my boy with me, you feel me? Yo. Listen, man. <laughs> this guy, listen, this guy right here, you feel me? Like, yo, really was uh, pivotal in helping me start in this, you feel me? Like, yo, did my first episode ever, you feel me, when I started in 2019. So I'm going to go ahead and let him introduce himself, man. The legend. It's fresh. What's up, y'all? Y'all already know what it is. It's the Marvinie himself in the flesh. You know what I'm saying? Good right now. Alright. What's going on, Chad? This is you yeah. rocking yours? Yeah, you know the show. You got yours on the day? Yeah, tell them about the brand, man. Tell, tell, them, about, tell them the name and what the name stands for. Marvinie, you know what I'm saying? Sponsoring the episode <laughs> today, you already know. Yes, sir. It's my name, my daughter's name put together. Something simple, something slick. You know what I mean? It's just like that. And right. actually, you know, gave it a definition for us. For it's called the last of the greatest. That's the definition I gave. The last of the greatest. One of the, uh, the, the last of a dying breed. You know what I mean? On those ones. You know what I mean? And you on your daughter's sure. name, right? You know what I mean? So you, you, last you, of the greatest. you leave a whole brand for your daughter, man. Yes, sir. You gotta give my man a round of applause for that. Yes, sir. Uh, man. So, um, you know, this, uh, you know, so, uh, yeah, this, uh, I got, I got my uh, co-producer, Ken Weldon out there. Man, Ken in the building, hold up, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. yeah Ken in the building, y'all know what it is, but, man. Um, you know, love. you know, you know, I talk about business on this platform, and, and, um, that's why I had to get my guy on here, because even when we first met, I mean, like, damn, a decade ago, mm. He was pushing his brand, you feel me? Well, it mean, still is. We, I mean, we had a trap too, cause he, we, we was pushing up the shit too. <laughs> Can't talk about that. I mean, me. just the fact that a decade later, you feel me? Like, so it's like, I mean, he might not have known it, but that shit, that shit was motivating to me. Like, I remember when, you know. My homegirl hit me like, you, you know, uh, you know, fresh lock. I was like, oh, yeah, man. no, fresh ain't locked. Uh, no. Shout out to Ty, yo. You know what I mean? She told me. Old, man. You know Ty. That's my yeah, baby. That's, that's my bestie. Never knew the trouble. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but, to tap in. That was, that's good. Yeah, that's man, good. but. Driving school. Right. Like, driving <laughs> school. That's, that's my hard, baby, man. man. We get my license, yo. Pure, pure. Hard. That's what it is. She's good. She's we gonna get, we gonna get a, um, we supposed to be getting out of the podcast, man. Okay, that's what I'm gonna get out of the podcast. You know she got to talk that shit. But, um. Uh, <laughs> frames, though. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, I've been trying to get them to sponsor me, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y'all dying at me, um, man. Like, Spitfire, man. Y'all need to sponsor the boy. That's but, right. um. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna be followed on Instagram. I only got an Instagram platform right now at marvinie.brand.clothing. Listen, just know that this man is the business. I'm telling you, like, this man, his brand is not just... Look, I know I know the nigga to hop on the road and go all the way back out Pittsburgh and be... You feel me? Like, it's a different type of grind. Shout out to the Shout out to the Shout out to the whole town, man. Shout out oh, to the Black Yellow. When oh, I was booked, I was booked with uh, oh, yeah. yo. When I was booked out uh, uh, Pennsylvania, I was about to. Uh, I, listen, I got a funny ass story for you, bro. Yeah. I get sentenced, so I got my sentence. So I'm going upstate. I'm, I'm. You feel me? So now I go to this one jail is where they classify you at and shit. So I walk in the cell. It's this big ass goofy looking nigga though. You feel me? He look slow and everything. So, but he big goofy. He, he ended up being from Pittsburgh. So I'm in there hey, on goofy. something. He looked, that's what he's looked, that's what, that's the appearance that he gave me was a big goofy nigga. Yeah. So I come in there on some tough shit like, yeah, man, I just, yeah, I just came straight from the whole world. Yeah, man, I'm in here though, man, I'm from Baltimore. I, I, I. So he like, you came straight from the whole to, to the block? So mind you, this is my first time going up state. This is obviously, he's a, obviously a career girl because he already knows that I'm talking bullshit. You know, you're in the hole, you go from the hole to the hole. You know, you don't go from the hole, you know what I mean, and dur- during this classification process. So he already yeah. know I'm talking bullshit. Yeah. I'm just trying to act tough. Yeah. But he started laughing. So, and so that kind of like, you know what I mean, kind of broke the tension in the room. And I started laughing like, yeah, I'm bullshit. <laughs> you feel me? But right then and there, it was like, it was like, 
it just told me like, yo, just be yourself, you feel me? Just be yourself and showing up. So shout out to, I forgot your name, it was a long time ago, man. But shout out my man from Pittsburgh, I think he's from the hill. Shout out to the, ooh, give me say he's from the hill. Shout out to the hill, man. Oh, that's for my cousin. Shout out to the hill. Hi, Chris, nigga. Not the Crips, not the Crips, nigga. So you know how he's talking about bullshit. So you know how he's talking about bullshit, right? So shout out to the kid. I, and, I, and I've been out Pittsburgh. So I, I've been out Pittsburgh. So um, I've been out Pittsburgh myself. I, I cross, I cross that yellow bridge. So yeah, I've been out there myself. You feel me? So, but I just, I say that to say this. You feel me? Like we, we, we try. You know, we develop them, getting our business together, getting, you know, getting our shit together. But niggas been branded. You feel me? Like bro been branded decades and more. You feel me? And he, he ain't just local. So. We just gonna connect the dots, mm-hmm. but this episode is just to show anybody out there that's that's building something. Like yeah, like it might it might be rocky here and then. You might not know we exactly where you're going, but we gonna show y'all how to connect the dots. You feel me? Because that's all we gotta do. Like right now, even like I said, decade or more. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And I've been doing this mm-hmm. network for uh, three years. Mm-hmm. He did my first episode, so. Um, we learn and connect the dots. So as I'm learning, he learning, we we gonna connect together, we're gonna connect the dots, you feel Stop me? Stop with the gift. I'm no, telling you. Stop with the gift. Then the acknowledgement of you knowing you got the gift. What hope say? Let me take once to be right. Mm-hmm. Let me take one time to be right. You can change your life. Let me take one, one time to be right with what you got going on and get here. Your life could change that, one day. Boom. Go LLC. Back. After that, boom, pay for it. <laughs> After that, run it. It's just like running a play. Running the, running the football play. You feel me? You got the play. You got the team. Even if you ain't got the team, you the coach. So coach, go get a team. <laughs> go make you a so team. So bro, like, go bring that team, stamp that team, run the play, get money, and keep going. You know what I mean? You gotta push that. Make sure you got a business plan. I mean, business plans at all times. Have a business plan. You got a business plan, and you can always dive in the banks. Banks is the plug. That's where you need to be at. Banks got the money. So when you get a business player, they're going to be the ones that get you right at all times. So that's how you do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Make sure you Drop the gems. Yeah, drop them gems. Drop them gems, you feel me? Drop them gems. Bro, drop them gems. Bro, drop them gems. Nice one, man. Let you hold that. Because I'm going to get you high all the time. Yeah, you don't want to crush nothing. Brain cells. All right, the fuck. We're getting everything I want to talk about. But I don't know. But that's nah, how like, you do the thing, though. That's how you do everything. When you do business like this, but keep with, it going. With and all the ups and downs, down. though, like you said, keep it going with all the ups and downs. You even been locked up. You been out shot. I seen you banged up, bro. Like, mm, you know mm, what I mean? Mm. I done seen, I done seen you go mm, through it. Mm. Like a decade is enough time for me to see you. What was From walking the crutches? Bro, you been Hell. banged up since I met you, bro. You, you, the you're the back, you're back in the head. You feel me? When I was 24. 22. 22 years old with spine surgery. But he's in Brian still. But that's what I'm saying. Catching buses. And, and, and through and all that. Catching buses to cars. So what, what, where did it come from? Just inside. The motivation and drive. The motivation and drive, you know. I like how you said inside. Motivation and drive. Everything that's inside. That's a that, gem. That, that, that thing that say, don't stop. Keep going. Don't stop. Keep going. Because you stop, you know. You just gave up for something. That's a gem. You just gave up for something. You gave up for something. Did you ever give up on work? No, I ain't never give up on work. I got fired. I got never quit. You know what I mean? And hold that. I never quit. I'm a two-time JV champion. Football. I mean, uh-huh. you never quit. We win. Or at least try to. <laughs> and keep going. Even if the fight ain't never over until I face it. Over. Yeah, I mean, type deal. That's how you gotta have that passion. That's what gave me that drive. You can't break me down. You can't. You not not. You know what I mean? The, the, the I mean those car. You can say car accidents. People you can't break me down. I mean, I'm gonna break me down before anything. Where do that come from? Just know. You gotta know that. Every day, I rock my own clothes every day. I don't wear nothing else. The hat might be, you know. Uh, you know. Snapbacks on the way. For real? Oh, for real. They don't wait. No, I'm not. Man. Whatever they changed, I'm ready to come up with dad heads and, and, and scuffies. But yeah, 
I mean, I got, I got vintage pieces. <laughs> <laughs> I got vintage pieces, you feel me? Like I said, we're going to know how to keep it going. We're going to connect the, uh, we're going to connect the, 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 the T, <laughs> we're going to connect the dots. You know what I mean? That's the, that's, that's the good, good. Look, we're going to cross the T's and dot the I's. Because, um, like, if you pay attention, you can kind of pay attention to what's going on, you know, like everything's real digital, everything, you feel me, they really try and take your mind as far away from reality as possible, mm -hmm. so you ain't got the metaverse coming and all that, mm -hmm. so, um, you know, we're going to be in there though, but we're going to be doing business in there, you feel me, they're going to be able to go to the metaverse and go to the Marvel store, you feel mm -hmm. me, you know the mean, website like, on the way. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. The website is on the way. Yeah, being uploaded to be a shop. Yeah, right. yeah, that's on the way. But like, that's on the way. Y'all get y'all get to see this that's in real time. Like this is this is Come real on. life. You feel me? Like this is this is people that's living real regular lives, just like everybody. But we Baby got mama it. drama. Oh, <laughs> everything. Uh, uh, everything. We know about. I'm gonna be wrong with it. <laughs> we don't got that. troubles, you know, yeah. but we still not fumbling. You, you don't know, fumble. You don't, you don't fumble. fumble. Man. You don't drop the ball. You keep you moving. Know. Why? I got kids depending on me. You know. My little brother passed away in 2014. He depending on me. You know what I mean? Uh, That's strong. It's a legacy. So you gotta keep everything going no matter what. Even if you ain't leaving nobody. Everybody has to be somebody or something. Even if you did, check this out. <laughs> Just keep going. Man, if they people is losing like, from you. And then people leaving out your life. Keep going. Because they ain't meant to be there no way. <laughs> All it's gonna take is going. one person out the family to get it right. Mm -hmm. All right, just one person out the family. And you know what's so funny about that? Right. that? That saying right there? They say it take one. For everything, that don't mm -hmm. it take one to get like you got you got that bag, right? You got that sack. Like shit, get that one sack. Like shit, what's coming? Boom. Mm -hmm. Cause you got that sack. That you know how that one, that one. You know what I mean? That's gonna break the whole train. You know what I mean? Like it only mm -hmm. take one, right? Yeah. yeah. So you gotta be that one. Man. You got and just know when you keep pushing, when you know you that one, just know you're gonna find that one who's gonna be right there. And like oh yeah. Everything that's keep buying this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm keep that. Everything that's you been gotta have that fire. Everything that's been invented came from one person. You feel me? Like one person had an idea to to make coals, or one person had an idea to make the light bulb. You feel me? Yeah. So the idea originally comes from one. Then you know whatever community you build and whatever brains and cre other creativeness you add to it to make it happen. You know that's a part of the process, but. It originally started from one, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So you gotta be that one, you feel me? Like, at the end of the day, I just need to be one person that's gonna step up and say, I'm gonna use my imagination and create something in this world that's never been done before, you feel me? You know, when I met that when I was a kid, though, when you have an imagination, you gotta stick with it. Because the imagination is like, it's everything. It's like, <laughs> it's just something that just might be the future. That's what it was saying. And it is. That's was exactly what it is. That. Shout out to Woodmore Elementary. So like, so so most <laughs> most most people that you know that grow up, they get keep, keep they, that. They get caught up in um, they get caught up in life. They get caught up in going to work. They get caught up in watching everybody else's life. They get caught up in drama. They get caught up in all this type of shit that they lose their imagination to just be themselves. I mean, everybody want to look like this person, and everybody want to act like this person, oh, everybody want to sound like this person, you feel know I me? Mean? Oh, so nobody's having this to their own, you feel know I me? Mean? Yeah. Like, Marvini, your whole logo, that came from your imagination, you feel know I me? Mean? Mm. And now you made other people believe in it, that's why you can make a living off of it. Mm. Well, again, so, yeah, and, so and, that's what, and on another side note, too, yeah, right. was that imagination, but... The first imagination was just being a designer. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah, so I see what you're getting. Yeah, exactly. that's exactly what you're Right on. You feel me? So you you are, you, you are right engineer. You, you feel me? Like you are, there you go. Right as a on. kid, you are that's engineer. Right. You feel me? Right on. If you ain't got no friends, you're going to make imaginary <laughs> friends. You feel me? Right on. You do with yourself. You're going to create your world. You're going to talk to yourself. 
Because it's been times that I, I went back. It's like telling people things when they talk to themselves, though, not knowing you really get all your ideas from self. Exactly. It's your imagination. Yeah. Like, it's, it used to be times yeah. that I'd go back to my old hood and be around certain places. And, but when I when I was little, it, it used to be so big. And But when I go back as I'm older now, it's like, what the fuck? No, but it was no. my imagination yeah, right. that made it so much bigger than what it was, yeah. you feel me? Made the bad area fun. You feel yeah. me? Made crazy shit good. My imagination took me away from you know, some Peter Pan shit. You feel know? me? That's the but it's like, but but that's 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 really how you innovate and do something different. Is you imagine the shit, then you make it real, and that's what I basically did. And when I called you and hit you and said, "Bro, I, want, I need an interview and shit," like it was basically my imagination. But I need other people's imagination. To build what I this one thing I'm building right here, this gonna take other no this gonna take a community. No question. You know what I mean? no question. And cause you know nothing moves without a community. Mm-hmm. Simple as that. And you got the vision. You feel me? The action. So it I'm just I'm just quarterback and you feel me? I need I need I need a, I need, a, I need, a, I need a hold, I need a, I need the star wide receiver. You know what I'm looking like, like, You know what I'm looking for? the red lines though. People like that end up starting to do what you do. That start. When I said that word, that start to do what you do. <laughs> like, you've been through. People that start to do what you do, stop. Why? It's because it's like they don't believe in the word work. You know what I'm saying? Like, that word work. That's like a lot of kids now that don't work. Listen. But work, they don't, they don't know the word work. You know what I mean? Like, when I say that, it's like when you work on something or work on yourself, you know that something. You gotta work. You need to believe in yourself and your parents to have you. Well, anyway, you gotta work. Keep working. Work. People don't believe in work. Some people nowadays don't believe in work. If you know you believe in something that you got going on in yourself, you gotta work. Yeah, you got to work. Working is going to make you greater for tomorrow and that future that you chasing, that you think. You not, or, or, or in, imagine. I don't think. Imagine. I mean, imagine. So if you imagine that. You gotta work on that. If you work on what you imagine, there's no way it can't be true. In the future, though, if you believe in that, though, you feel what I'm saying? When 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 I did the first episode, okay. 2019, right. pre-pandemic. Right. Oh my goodness, that was <laughs> before the right zombies. Before the zombies. <laughs> before the zombies. Before the zombies. I just yeah. came out of the cage. Yeah, 2019. Fresh out. Fresh out of the- and you had a whole cool feed. How do you And you, and you, you had a hella clothes. You was, you was right back to the right back to it. But shout then, out to 92Q. Shout, shout out to Lord Black. Who showed me the most love ever. Black did my second episode. Black. <laughs> shout Black. out to Black. Black. You know, Black. Black. Man, yes, listen. Man. Can I tell my story? <laughs> tell your story, <laughs> tell your story <laughs> and I'm going to tell my Black story. Go ahead. Look, I just pulled up to the Royal Farms. What um, right next to the precinct, I saw him in a Solero. <laughs> like, oh, what's I, up with you? Uh, like, I ain't gonna push it. I didn't know what in my bag. We don't know the plates. We don't know the plates. I don't know the plates. We don't know the plates. I swear, I'm like, imagine him going black. I just asked because he was familiar from like before I got locked up. I saw him at um, IHOP, like on uh, Liberty Road. That was my big mother at the time. Old story. History. But um, he said, yeah. I'm like, look, I'm going to take one of my cars. I got clothes. I just came out. I mean, I've been out, but I just came home. I, 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 I'm like, man, what well, shit? He was lit to you. He's like, shit, yeah, what? Man, you better bring some of that shit up to the station right now. I'm like, damn. I only got three shirts. <laughs> like, like, I mean, can I go there tomorrow or something? He's like, man, where's the phone at? Got my number in the phone. Boom, right after that. Sweat. It was murder. She wrote. I called the next day. No, I called him on. Yeah, I called him the next day. Let him know I'm coming on a Friday. I saw him on a Tuesday. I mean, like Friday, I'm coming up. I'm like, fuck, I came on Thursday. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, on Friday, come on Thursday. Get up there, like, and look, Conan. Persian, he was walking in there. He was walking in there. I was with my man at the time. I had a bench, go C280. And then, so he me. I was doing that thing, out. And then, yeah, he, yeah, he showed love, yo. Look, big love for Lil Black. Um, DJ Quicksilver, AJ, Conan, the Radio Twins, 
Y'all holler. Like, <laughs> radio turns on. Prayers of the cold. That's what was all there. They all got something. Like, they, they all got something. Straight up. That man, um, Quicksilver, really rocked it and really put that on your, his page. Like, Big Love. And he wore the ward the whole day. And they made Big Love for Big Love from Nice UQ, you know, and DJ Quicksilver and Lil Black as well. Family, the community, family, like, even if you didn't yeah. know who that man was, I don't care. Look, this is because people probably gonna ask, What if I ain't know that? What if I ain't, what if you ain't, you know what I mean? What if you know, I ain't know? No, listen, just send cards, give cards, advertise, advertise, say who you are. What if that wasn't him? You know what I mean? Like, not a two years, like, I don't believe, you know I mean, this was a dark skinned, bald man with shakes. I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know the description. I don't know the description, but you know what I mean? We know people still look damn sad. Whatever. Well, whatever. Advertise. <laughs> Number gym. <laughs> Advertise. Brand. It's just like having a, uh, you ever know, go fishing, right? Yeah. All right. What you got to do when you go fishing? Put that worm on the hook. Mm-hmm. The worm on the hook is what? The card. Right. right. The bait. Right. Right. That's the card. Right. Right. The card is the bait. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Throw that bitch out to everybody. Right. Tell them what you about. You got to get Brandon one on one. Now go catch these ones. Mark, <laughs> Brandon and Mark one on one, man. Yeah, man, like, it was a blessing, though. All right, let me tell my black story right after this break. You know, my black story, you know what I mean? My little black story. Man, shit, that shit probably go back to like 08, bro. When I was on my rap shit. You know, I had my little, uh, I had a little management deal with that. I'm like, this shit, man, good day. Oh, really? Yeah, bro. Well, you know, I'm trapping at the same time. I'm still, I'm still in the streets. You know, you can't. That's another thing. Like, if you're trying to do anything in life, you gotta put 100% in it. So if you gonna be a rapper or whatever, you gotta do that 100. percent You can't be a street nigga and a rapper and shit. Mm-hmm. Um, you gonna rap? You time because I thought. I mean, I was on. I, I was going pretty good. I was on my way. I, was, I mean, I used to be up in New York. You feel me? Talking to Universal Motown and all that shit. You feel me? So it was like I was. I was making a little bit of noise and shit. And Black had um. That's when Shorty Low had a show and shit. Black had put me on that shit. You feel me? But I was fighting the case the whole time and shit. Lost the case and shit. That's when I ended up going on state and shit. I mean, the spirit niggas all that shit. But mm-hmm. yeah, man, that kind of derails shit for me and shit. But it's basically what have I, what have I tried to do in life, bro? Like, I did it. Like, it was nothing I could, I can't do. So once I realized. You feel me? There's nothing I can't do with this shit. I just said, all right, I'm gonna just try everything I come up with. You feel me? Like, yeah, one life to live and shit. You feel me? You know how some niggas are, are they might want to be an athlete and just dedicate their whole life to being an athlete. Yeah, no plan B. I remember when Kobe, Kobe had said uh, something one time on one of his interviews, he had said after he retired and started doing what he was doing, he really, he felt like that's that was his true purpose. Like who said that? Kobe. Kobe that's the future. You know I mean? So the whole time we think well, this nigga is yeah, yeah, man, everything basketball and he said that wasn't even his felt like that was his purpose in life, you feel mm-hmm. me? So at the end of the day, man, it's so much different stuff we can do, you feel me? Just use your just expand your mind and shit. You ain't gotta be stuck in one one pigeonhole and shit. You you mean you do music too, you do a whole lot of shit, you a follower, you know what I mean? You're just a leader, bro. Yeah, one, so you got two born. You can't you can't just leave. I appreciate that. But I appreciate yeah. that. I appreciate bro, that. once again, yeah. me too. Probably, but bro. once again you gotta you understand so this is a this That's is That's what we doing. Right. This is a decade this is a decade long um, relationship right. and for us to go through what we went through when we still there for our kids, bro. Like it's a lot of niggas that's not here. Yeah. You feel me? Some, some dead, some locked up, and some just don't give a fuck. You the glorification of stuff be wrong. Yeah, yeah, man. Hey, people be glorifying the wrong stuff. Like, you but glor- I don't glorify. Bro. But like I said, I, I, I smoke weed for hurt and pain and, and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I just smoke on camera. I'm not. Even if y'all kids don't, hope your kids, you might. If you are, 
Nah, they don't do this until you're 20. When I drop this, it's uh, 21 and over. Yeah, 21 and over. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, right on. Like, it's, a, it's a help for my body. I got body. I, 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 my body is not the same. Ever going to be the same no more. Shout out to Mary Warner. But you know, bad. but you know, that's from the earth. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of this stuff, just you know, a lot of this stuff come like, from the earth. They just process. abuse it. Like, I ain't talking all that. They think he ain't talking the right thing. No. Mary Warner, help me. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. It's a, it's a, come on. Mary Warner, help me. So They yeah. got dispensaries all over, over the city right now. You feel me? They call, they call them medicinal uh, <laughs> <laughs> dispensaries, but they trap it. You know what I mean? They trash. You know what I mean? No, and they, they booming too. I guarantee, listen, anybody, if you got some free time, go go uh, sit in the parking lot of, uh, of a dispensary. You see how many motherfuckers go in and out that truck. And I'm talking about white, black, old, young, girls, everybody. That shit be jamming. And I'm like, Damn, they locking niggas up. They locking niggas up in the hood doing the same thing they doing right there. But you know they about to vote um in November. No, they ain't been locking people up for weed no more in the trenches. They've been different now. Well, yeah, well you know, but you know Marilyn Mosby, they 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 got rid of Marilyn Mosby, so you know they ain't nothing. She the one that I know a nigga. Look, look, yeah, I caught him from my cream. Man, man, ain't gonna say nothing. No, he came home. No, he came home. He came home home the same day. Okay. It was the bail. He gave him a bail because he got a prime record, Mm -hmm. and the prime record was, you know, continuous marijuana charge. Mm -hmm. Even though he just came home for real, like he came home with petty something. It wasn't like he did eighteen months. But when he got locked up, he got like a full of what was it? Uh, a half an ounce? Mm-hmm. Uh, probably, no, I think it was a whole ounce. It was like uh, 10 apes. An ounce and a whole more. I mean, yeah. An ounce and two apes. <laughs> Whatever. So he got locked up, came home, right? But the bell was, they gave him a bell mm-hmm. while he was in the precinct. Mm-hmm. He said it was $2,000. Okay. Like, what the fuck? What? Next thing you know, all right, paid that, right? Mm-hmm. Came home, next thing you know, about the court. District court. Mm-hmm. District court. Mm-hmm. Not circuit, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? For well, ounce. Like it used to be. Mm-hmm. He had a lawyer. When he walked in there, he waiting for the lawyer, he said, he walked up to the state, he like, the lawyer just walked in like, come right here. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, he was waiting on you. Because the Muslim name was very trying to represent itself. <laughs> you like, no. Like, no, he was just waiting on you. And mind we're in district court. And that's what the judge said. He, he laughing. Mm-hmm. He looked like Judge Mathis type deal. <laughs> like, like, no, I'm here. Um, I'm here to um, run through blah, 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 blah. And he said, yeah, the case dismissed. And he was Muslim. So mm-hmm. right, the brother who got locked up, mm-hmm. he was like, yo, what the? I bought all these papers and all this, and I paid a thousand dollars for this lawyer. Mm-hmm. Hey yo, look easy money. For we that. was not ever a problem. It ain't a problem. Yeah. You know what I mean? No more. That's the more of the story. Yeah, <laughs> we ain't no problem. That's I, why you got a lot of young boys outside selling ain't the black. You know, you know what I mean? You ain't doing anything. You see, like, it ain't no, no, it ain't sneaky no more. It's like, but, right, but you know what I don't like about what it? What can we do? It's just like, but that's, what, but that's what I don't like about it. Like it's like selling a bar soap. And that's what I don't like about it. It's like selling a bar soap. Yeah, um, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, shit, shit, was on, yeah, shit was on the news not too long ago. Nigga, I got caught a, tr- a trunk load of fucking pounds. A trunk. But because he had. No, wait, you said pounds. Yes, trunk load. And this what his and this what his lawyer hit him with. Mm-hmm. He said, if you go to the uh, to the to the market and buy uh, a case of water, if you feel me, like what thirty bottles, you feel me, like that's all my client did. He just bought. You know, a case of marijuana for himself. Uh, and you feel and, and and he got off of that joint. See, pounds. See what I'm saying. Pounds. Where was it? Where was it? This was the hair. Yeah. 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 Like, see, where it was sitting. Yeah. Sitting. Like, like, 
But uh, yeah, that was it. Like he got caught on um, probably going through the tunnel or some shit like that. What was it like? You know, little ninety five. No, I'm sorry. Oh, so it was been a city. He was on the highway type mm-hmm. shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Family beat that Damn, shit. Damn. Listen. They ain't care. But you know what I don't like about it, bro? That's pocket money for them. That's, Listen, that's what I'm saying. They, 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 I mean, they're they going to take that little, you know what I mean? But this one I don't like about it. I just don't like how everybody in their mother is selling, trying to sell for it. Right. Right. And that's a literal statement. That ain't everybody everybody in their mother. That's how people right. used to say everybody in their mother wins, Jordan. <laughs> really, everybody in mother didn't win, Jordan. <laughs> right. That was like, really, everybody in their mother. Yeah, I mean, bro. <laughs> Hey, it's, it's, it's just watering the game down. But, but I know, I know what's it's happening so though. Cause the price is super low. You know what? He'll get off the top of his head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. But um, yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I don't know. How, how did we even get on there? No, you know why we got on there because um, we was talking about Marilyn Mosby and shit. She the one that you know decriminalized. Weed and you know all the go petty shit. Yeah, we were talking about how weed ain't really that serious. You feel me? And, yeah. and you feel me? And she was for the squeegee kids type shit. But she, now she, now her ass gone. Like this shit. Gone, what, what you mean? Gone? She lost. She, she lost. Um, you know it's real. It was, it was real. Oh, she yeah, yeah. The memes. Yeah. Oh, so she's um, uh, Ivan Bates. You know he the top dog now. Yeah. You feel me? Shout out to Ivan. I fuck with Bates. Ivan though. You know I, I spent a lot of money with you, Ivan. And you know, you feel me? You, sh- you showed love. You did, you did an interview with me on my network. So yeah, man. Shout out to Ivan, baby. I spent a lot of money with you, man. You feel me? You a good lawyer. But Ivan on a, on a war path, though. He bought the hike weed back, turn weed back on. Oh, um, man. He bought to get the squeaky kids off the court. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. like Ivan on a, yeah, man. He bought to, yeah, man. Like, he, he about to go hard. Damn. Snickers been Shout out to, yo, Snickers cut a check. <laughs> but now nah, I know you family, we geeking you know, over. Listen, yeah. man, like, I just had to bring my boy on here, you feel me? And, um, like I said, all this is happening in real time. Y'all saying this in real time. So, the next time, yeah, so the next time, you know, you see, bro, you feel me? Y'all gonna see the level up, and you gonna see the level up. Come on, on show. Check it out yourself. I'm Don't telling you. Marvin, that brand, that Y'all gonna keep seeing the level up in, in, in real time. And, and not, so now, I mean, the message is just, man, tap into yourself, man. You got, you could be a wolf too, you feel me? You know? Welcome to the Wolf of Wall Street. Wolf of Charles Street, man. I can't even Wall Street. Charles Street. Man, I think I'm gonna this shit out, man. Fuck, bro. Yeah, my bad. I'm gonna see this shit out, man. Wolf of Charles. <laughs> The Wolf of Charles Street, you know, man. Charles Street. Okay. And man, so yeah, man, that's a, been another episode, man. Y'all tuning in, man. Point. Small Beanie, man. Mm-hmm. Boy. Sick.